if, if, if okay, I, I certainly take it if I if I get it. But but yeah, J just before coming in, I listened again for the third time to a promotional video. It's relevant to the discussion by the government. A wonderful two and a half minutes. I don't know if you've seen it, Minister. It's a wonderful two and a half minutes promotional video on Ireland. Beautiful landscapes, <laughs> given us a hundred years in two and a half minutes, and it tells us tells us a hundred years ago we took our place amongst the nations of the world, and ever since. We have stood for peace, democracy, justice, and human rights. And then it goes on to tell us that we stood for peace when the, United, the League of Nations, 1923. We stood for peace with the UN from 55 onwards. And we have remained unwavering in our 65 years of unbroken peacekeeping. It goes on to celebrate the global family of 70 million, our cultural diversity. It goes on to talk about the EU, so 73, which was a project for peace, which has clearly changed, and so on. And I wonder, is this a classic case of cognitive dissonance? Because this is the most wonderful video telling us what we stand for. You'd, want, you'd be very proud, and we're a voice for peace in the world, and yet the actions are diametrically opposed to that, as this country, through our leaders, goes to Europe on a regular basis yeah. to try and be the best boys in the class. And absolutely condemn the war that Russia illegally invaded the Ukraine. And as has been said already by other speakers, our credibility is at stake if we just do that and we ignore other wars and other bullies and other warmongers. And Palestine is a case in point. And I listened carefully last night to the many replies to TDs from the Thornishta on Palestine. And he says he stands firmly with the people of Palestine. This government has failed to respond to the amnesty report, which is over a year ago. It has failed to do anything about the six human rights organizations designated as terrorist organizations. And then we have um, Sadaka on behalf of the Palestinian people telling us the international community, including Ireland, pay, pays constant lip service to a two-state solution as defined under the 93 Oslo Accords, yet has taken absolutely no steps to bring about that. The impunity granted to Israel is, the, is writing the obituary for a two-stage solution. Four seconds left. I want my leaders to stand up for peace in the world.